When giving any sales presentation, your opinion will rarely, if ever, be as persuasive as solid, provable facts. However, even if you have the facts on your side, it's easy to fall into the trap of believing that you've got a leg up in any sales situation. But let me tell you something about facts. If someone you know has a headache, you're going to give him aspirin, but you're not going to give it to him like this. Rather, in addition to the aspirin, you're going to offer them hopefully some water to help them swallow that aspirin, right? Well, it's the same in any sales presentation. You start out with your client having a problem that you're ready to solve. And just giving them facts about how you can solve that problem is a lot like giving them aspirin without giving them anything to wash it down. And that's where storytelling comes in. I think of storytelling as the emotional lubricant that makes facts easier to swallow, understand, and appreciate. Let's just pose a hypothetical. Let's say you're a, a, a marketing consultant and you've been asked to present a case history. Now, if your case history is like the many that I've seen, and unfortunately some that I've been part of, this is how it goes. You start out with the facts about the problem, then you provide facts about the solution, and you end up with, guess what? Facts about the results. Aspirin without water. And when you're done, here's what you might see at the other end of the table. But let's add some water. Instead of just providing facts about a problem you solved, what would happen if you put your audience in the middle of that problem, asking them to walk through it with you? You might say something like, okay, so imagine being faced with the challenge of decreasing market share for a product that has two years of negative growth, shrinking margins, and is competing in a mature category where it's perceived as not having any real or meaningful differentiation. Or you could start with a question like, so, have you ever been faced with a problem that on the surface looks like there was really no solution? Well, this is what the people at XYZ Company were faced with. They had tried everything imaginable to stop the bleeding, but the losses kept showing up month after month. From there, you show them just how difficult the problem was. The sales force, or what was left of it, they were giving up. Employees were running for cover and the board of directors had ousted two CEOs within the last two years. Now, if you've done this right, by now, you've piqued your audience's curiosity. Now they're sitting straight up in their seats. They're fully engaged. And just by virtue of the way you set up this situation, you've taken advantage of one of the most powerful mechanisms used to gain involvement from any audience. You've gotten them to wonder, what happened? Let's keep going. Now you bring them to what we call the turning point. This is where you relieve the tension you've created by showing your audience just what did happen. Notice I said showing them, which is very different than just telling them. But then we discovered the source of the problem, something that had really gone unnoticed. We went out and conducted surveys with consumers and then we talked to employees using basically the same survey. And what we found is that there were two very different perceptions of the company. What we had to do was align those perceptions as we did. We tested a number of new approaches. This approach was the one that scored highest in terms of intent to purchase. And finally, you then bring your story to a close or a resolution. Sure, you want to provide measurable results, but you also want to help your audience feel what your client felt once the problem was solved. It took some time to convince management to adopt this new approach, but once they did, the turnaround began. A turnaround that was not just apparent in terms of their increased market share, which was good news, but it was also apparent in the way employees were starting to interact with each other. And as I'm going to show you in this video of employee interviews, you're going to see that pride really did take hold within this organization. This is just one of many, many ways to turn a case history into a story. And one of the many methods we teach sales professionals on how to capitalize on the power of story in a sales situation. If you want to stop doing this, I suggest you enroll your sales team in one of our workshops. And call me in the morning.